Hello, back again for match day number two predictions out in the championship, the second tier in England. To go through, have a look at the past week's results, see how you guys got on with the predictions, and tally up all the points there of the particular games that you predicted. So remember, if you back the favourites to win, you get less points awarded, and if you back the underdogs to come through, and they do, then you have an opportunity to pick up more because these are based on the odds of the fixtures that I provide. So, a lot more interesting, a lot more even. This is what, is what happens if you go into the real life. Benny Markets, you actually want to make on the money there. So, 24 teams, 12 matches. So, plenty of things to cover. So let's get to it. The first game of the season was Watford against Middlesbrough. Watford came away 1-0 winners. Craig Carcaked, 11th minute goal to get them the winner. Burningham, 1-0 winners against Wentford. Germany, Bieler getting the goal of the game. You can see where I'm going with this. Wolfram, 1-0 winners against Wickram Wanderers. With Michael, who we, we 92nd minute, White's at the death there to give Wolverham the win. Norwich won new winners against Huddersfield with Adam Eda in the 80th minute. Luton Tarn won new winners against Barnsley, James Collins, 71st minute goal. And also Swansea came away one new winners against Preston with Morgan Gibbs White getting the win on the day. So six matches of the 12 games ended in a 1-0 win. So, very strange stuff, but let's cover those other games as well too. So, Millwall and Stoke ended in a 0-0 draw. Sheffield Wednesday came away 2-0 winners against Cardiff with Josh Windus and Jordan Rhodes. Fourth and 44th minute goals in that particular fixture. And Sheffield Wednesday, they started off with a minus 12 points because of administration issues, finance issues, so they're up to minus 9 points, so very good start for them to reduce that deficit and uh, yeah, really help them to try and survive the season or potentially do even more if they can get a few results going. Bristol City, 2 one winners against Coventry, Jamie Patterson managing the score in the very first minute of the game, and Thomas Cullis as well too, Matt Gooden scoring for Coventry. QPR go top of the table with 2-0 win against Nottingham Forest, Lyndon Dites and also Himmelis Cheer. Reading also joined QPR at the top of the championship table as things stand with a 2-0 victory as well too. Lucius, Jario and Olive Ejui scoring the goals for them. And the last match, Bournemouth 3-2 against Blackburn. With Jack, Stacey, Jefferson, Luma and Arnott Donjamba. For Blackburn, they had Bradley Johnson as well as Adam Armstrong getting it on the scoring. So after all those particular fixtures of the week clear, how did we get on with a... Prediction of picks. Well, I can tell you that I managed to get four predictions correct there as I went for Norwich, Swansea, Watford, and Bournemouth all to win, and they did manage to do so. So, four out of 12, so just a third. So, if you just win and lay pick teams, you would end up with a third of the results. So, not, not too flash, but managed to pick up. Uh, five, five, three, um, 3.82, yeah, I managed to pick up two 1.9 pointers, a 2.1 and a 3.1 points, so in total I managed to pick up 9.02 on the first week of games there. The football simulator, they managed to go for Watford, Wolverham, Bournemouth and Bristol City all to win, so they managed to get four quick picks as well too. And they end up in second place 
after match day number one with 8.32. Uh, Carbon White and Tom O also got involved with these predictions, so shout out to those guys. Hopefully some other people could also join the series there. It would be nice to have you. So Tom O picked Watford, Bristol City and Bournemouth all to win those games, and they did so. And Carbon White went for... Watford, Swansea and Bournemouth all to win, so we had Watford and Bournemouth, all four of us, to win, so that was the big trending factor, but the other teams we had different feelings about. And uh, third place, uh, Carver White managed to get an extra point with a Swansea win over Tom O's Bristol City victory there was more valuable, so he goes into third place with 6.92. And Tom O in 4th place with 5.92. But you can lie a blanket over those results there as it's only, what, 3, three points away from 1st to 4th. So plenty of things to play for in the second match day. As it's a very long season, we've got 46 matches out in the championship. So yeah, let's get to it. In the second match day, we've got all-time head-to-head results here. First up, we've got Coventry against QPR. So Coventry, 47 wins. QPR with 42 wins and 31 draws. Three wins and three draws for Coventry in the past six games. Coventry, 230, 320 for the draw and 288 for QPR. QPR, they may be top of the championship as things stands, but not after this match as I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. And the football summer is going to go for a 1-0 Coventry win. We have Nottingham Forest taking on Cardiff. 13 wins for Cardiff, 15 for Nottingham Forest and 11 draws. Cardiff, 9 wins and a draw in the past 11 games. 220 for Nottingham, 325 for the draw and 310 for Cardiff. I'm going to go for Cardiff, 3-1. Football summer is going to go for a 3-2 Cardiff victory. Next match, we have Brentford taking on Huddersfield. 26 wins for Huddersfield, 24 wins for Brentford and 17 draws. Huddersfield, 3 wins and a draw in the past 4 games. $1.53 for Brentford, 3.75 for the draw and 5.50 for Huddersfield. I'm going to go for a surprising Huddersfield victory. Brentford started off the season slowly with a defeat. And Huddersfield... Um, they started off their season with a very narrow defeat against Norwich, who were going to do well this season. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 Huddersfield victory, and the football summer is going to go for a 3-1 point for the win. Next up, we have Middlesbrough taking on Bournemouth. Seven wins for Middlesbrough, four wins for Bournemouth, and seven draws. Bournemouth, three wins and three draws in the past seven games. 240 for Middlesbrough. 320 for the draw, 275 for Bournemouth. I'm going to go for Bournemouth, 2 1 winners. And the football summator, 1 0 for Middlesbrough. We have Wedding taking on Barnsley. 13 wins for Wedding, 26 for Barnsley, and 20 draws. Wedding, 3 wins and 3 draws in the past 6 games. We have 230 for Wedding, 325 for the draw, and 288 for Barnsley. I'm going to go for a 2 0 win for Wedding, and the football simulator agrees with me. Same prediction. Blackburn take on the Wickham Wanderers for the very first time, as Wickham Wanderers, big achievement for them to make it up to the championship. So it's big favourites for Blackburn here at $1.53, $3.75 for the draw, and $5.50 for Wickham. I'm going to go big for Blackburn Rovers in this game here, 4 0 winners. And the football summer is going to go for a 2-1 Blackburn win. We have Wotherham taking on Millwall. 13 wins each and 10 draws. Wotherham, 3 wins and a draw in the past 4 games. 2.88 for Wotherham. 3.20 for the draw and 2.37 for Millwall. I'm going to go for a Boyne 0-0 draw for this particular fixture. And the football summer is going to go for a 3-1 Millwall win. Sheffield Wednesday, they take on Watford. 22 wins for Watford, 16 for Sheffield, and 9 draws. Watford, 4 wins and a draw in the past 6 games. 
and this is the only match that I don't have any odds on at this current point in time, so it's really annoying why they do this. So I'll make sure to put the odds for this fixture as soon as I'm able to see them on my tab.co.nz website there that I use for all these particular matches. And um, you can make your mind up on whether the odds suit one team than the other team because of the, the points to league system could be very vital in your predictions. So it's a bit punchy to make a pick with not knowing that. And I'm going to go for Watford to get a 3-1 win. And the football summer is going to go for Sheffield Wednesday to get a 2-1 victory. Next match, we have Luton Tan taking on Derby. 17 wins for Derby, 16 for Luton and 10 draws. Derby got a 3-2 record in the past five games. 2.88 for Luton, 3.30 for the draw and 2.30 for Derby. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw and the football summer is going to go for a 2-0 Luton win. We have Norwich taking on Preston. 21 wins for Norwich, 17 for Preston and 16 draws. Norwich 3 wins and 2 draws in the past 6 games. $1.72 for Norwich here. 360 for the draw and 433 for Preston. I'm going to back Norwich to come away 2 0 winners. The football summer is going to go for a 1 1 draw. Swansea taking on Burningham. 10 wins for Swansea, 18 wins for Burningham and 9 draws. Swansea 3 wins and 2 draws in the past 5 games. Swansea 210 here, 320 for the draw and 340 for Burningham. Swansea are my championship club. Hopefully they can. Get back to the Premier League this season. I'm going to go for them in this match here. I'm not going to be as biased as I am with my Chelsea club in the Premier League. But I do think they'll get the job done and get a 2-0 win. And the football summer is going to go for Swansea. 3-1 winners. And last match I have for you is Stoke against Bristol City. 25 wins for Stoke. 16 wins for Bristol. And 15 draws. Bristol City, three wins in the draw in the past five games. Two dollars for Stoke here, 330 for the draw and 350 for Bristol. I'm gonna go for Bristol to get a 2-1 win, and the football simulator is gonna go for a 2-2 draw. So those are my thoughts, predictions, and the football simulator's predictions for the second match they are in the league championship. So hopefully you can enjoy this video if you did hit the like button if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe and make sure to get involved with this points prediction league battle there as the winner of the season will get to the side on a five minute video idea that i get the film on it can be absolutely anything at all it doesn't have to be football later doesn't even have to be sports related so get your thinking caps on for that but first you have to get past me and the football simulator who currently lead the way out in the league championship. But until then, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you again in match day number three.